Hey everybody, welcome into this new video. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you real quick how to create your digital planner Canva um, and actually using Apple links here. It's going to be really, really simple tutorial, guys. And I'm not going to take more than eight minutes or 10 minutes, hopefully. And if you want to sell them for this specific occasion, I'm going to be using Etsy. Because Etsy is a place where you can uh, sell a lot of stuff, including digital content. Now, uh, in this case, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description, guys, just in case that you want to create your account here on Etsy. And of course, I'm going to leave you a link also as well about Canva so you can earn a few premium images, illustrations, and all kind of designs in order to have here more skills so you can have more accessibility here into Canva. So now that you have created here your account, you can either continue with your Google account or with your Facebook account. In my case, I already have my account here from Google, so I just need to go into continue. It's not going to take uh, more than just a couple of seconds in here. So once I am in here, what you want, want to do after we have created uh, successfully our account, we need to go into create a design. Now, once we are in here, we want to go into the selection that says custom size. Now, if you're wondering the amount of width and height of the pixels or this, all the millimeters, you can always go and drag into a new tab and look for digital planner. So what I want to do is to go into my images and try to look for the uh, specific um, size of my digital planner. Also, we're going to be seeing like a few ideas if you don't know what to do. So as you can see, this digital planner works for 1620. I'm um, not pretty sure if this is okay. I mean, almost all of them are working like a white paper, so A4 and all that. So, uh, for example, this um, in this specific situation, I want to do uh, 1920. So we're going to create a new design, and it should be uh, looking like this in the vertical side. So now that we filled that, what you guys want to do is to select here your image. I want to move this just for a second here. I want to go into more. Okay, guys, so now that we have here our first design, our first template, we want to start. If you want to start with a template, it's totally fine. You can go into templates, which is right in here, and you can tap maybe notebook. Let's see what we have so far. For example, uh, thing unlimited. It's not looking so bad, I guess. But let's say I don't like that at all. Or maybe I, I like this design, but I'm going to change the background because I don't like that too much. I will want to add some margins. Right, so for example, in here I'm going to uh, go into my uploads and I want to, as you can see, I have just a few uploads. You can go into Google Images. For example, I just look for backgrounds for notebooks and I kind of like this one. It comes from Pinterest. Uh, let's say I'm going to go back into my digital planner. I want to choose this image in here. So what I want to do is to... And what I want to do is to bring this, send this to the back. So you can see it looks a little bit much uh, better for me. So let's say I want to delete this factor and try to look for elements. So now what I want to do is to add a new page. As you can see, it's going to be adding this new page. I'm going to copy and paste my background. As you can see, it's right available in here. And now in this case, I won't put uh, a banner because it doesn't look like pretty good. Um, maybe I won't put it in here. You can see there's like emergence in here. Now after that, what I want to do is to put in here some text. To make this a little bit more faster, you can always do the copy paste. Uh, selection. So for example, I want to put in here, like if you have a digital clutter, I assume that you want to do this like weekly or monthly. So All right, so now as you can see, I have my design for the, let's say like the content of my 
digital planner. This is my week one, as you can see. Uh, I can do this a little bit more. Um, I'm gonna make this a little bit more tiny. So now in here, what you guys want to do? Um, let me tell you guys for this moment, in the moment, um, speaking about your digital planner. If you want to put some elements, for example, I have this upload, um, like this are of circles for the margin. So you can totally up to do that. So I just need to scroll this a little bit up and make this something like this. So I can put like a little transparency in here or I can be using a background remover if you want to. If you don't, um, you can use maybe Photoshop if you want to. You can use another application so you can uh, delete your background and use this grid. But in our case, I kind of don't like this. Uh, I mean, speaking about digital planners, I mean, we don't need that um, element. So I think this is looking pretty good as it is. But if you want to add that, you just need to go in here. For example, I just add background for notebooks and you can choose this option and copy and paste that into your project. In my case, I just won't do that. I'm just going to go uh, directly here into the third page. Now what I want to do is to look for um, elements and I want to look for notebook, notebook paper. So let's see what we have in here. So now what I can do is to duplicate the page once again. Um, this one I'm going to just delete it. And what I want to do is to put in here Tuesday, for example. So let's say, for example, that you want to add some notes uh, and you forgot to, to put in, in every single page because you are copy pasting right here. So, so for example, you have to worry about that because we have the copy paste uh, tool. So you can go into the first page, for example, and let's say I want to choose this option right in here. I want to put it in here. Let's say. <laughs> I mean, if you want to add more pages, uh, you can just duplicate those pages and you can put them in here if you want to. But in my case, I'm just going to stick with this. It's really like a really simple example. So now what we want to do is to add some Apple links. So this might be a little more interesting. So let's go ahead and go into the first page, the second page, actually. I want to zoom in just for a second in here. And as you can see, we see it says week number one. The first Apple link, in my case, I will select this option. I want to click into three dots and I want to click into this one that says link. So since this one says Monday, I want to link the first one and the number three. If you are like a little um, lost in here, you have to worry about that. You can name all your pages so you can be, so you'll know the name of each one. So for example, this one is going to be Monday. And I want to hit once again into the link section. As you can see here is Monday of Monday. I'm going to hit into done. And it's really simple guys just to select all of them and try to link that into the own pages. So I'm going to select maybe Saturday. And this is going to be jumping me into Saturday. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to hit into Friday, for example. It's going to hit me into Friday. So it actually works. Uh, the first time I tried it, it didn't work because I choose the flatten option. If you go into share, go into download, and uh, after you click into PDF standard and enable the flatten PDF, 
it's gonna make that your PDF won't be like um won't be interactive as we just saw earlier. So that's the reason why the early one didn't work because I choose the flatten. So please don't do that. After you check that it works, it totally works. You can now go back. I'm gonna create my listing and where it says add your photo, I want to add my first, my second, and my reference a PNG file. So So now as you can see here is my digital planner. I can um, go into save and continue and actually I just need to put in here all my information so I can get straightly paid here into Etsy. But once again I just show you guys you can do that into eBay, you can do that into Amazon, you can create your own website if you want to. And as you can see it was really really easy to create here our our project and it's looking really really good. Just make sure that you don't enable the flat and PDF so you can be using a interactive pdf and always use a pdf standard because if you choose a pdf print it's going to be flatting already so please choose the pdf standard and don't enable the, the flatten pdf so there you have it guys just in case you have any questions you can leave it down below in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more about this etsy or canva premium application it's been a major pleasure and i will see you next time